Quest Corp is set to issue about 7.5 lakh preferential shares to the investment arm of Amazon for nearly 51 crore rupees. This is Amazon's second such investment in an Indian listed company after it picked up nearly 5% stake in Shopper Stop in 2017. To know more about the deal, Yatin Mota had a chat with the chairman and MD, Ajit Isaac. Listen in. The investment is done by Amazon.com NV Investment Holdings, which is a FPI and an affiliate of Amazon.com. Uh, we're issuing 7.5 lakh shares at a price of 676 rupees, which is a significant premium to yesterday's closing price, mm. amounting to about 51 crores. And the investor, as you mentioned, will hold about 0.51% of the share capital of our company. Mm. Uh, pricing, of course, is de decided as for the SEBI ICDR guidelines. So what is the background of this? You know, Amazon, as you are aware, uh, is a large e-commerce player, sells a number of phones, appliances, etc., on its on its e-commerce site. Right. Uh, Quest owns DigiCare, which is uh, perhaps India's largest uh, uh, phone repair warranty service and appliances uh, uh, repair company. Mm -hmm. We presently have about 250 outlets with across 150 cities, mm -hmm. and we do about uh, 120,000 calls per month right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do some work for Amazon, and in our discussions with Amazon, uh, we, we are working towards a plan where we can enhance the customer experience of uh, people who are buying phones and appliances on, on Amazon site. Okay. And uh, we uh, expect to go up from about 250 outlets to about 450 outlets across 300 cities, build a technology platform, invest in training, etc., to be able to reach the service quality levels that's expected at Amazon. So all of this has an investment requirement, which we estimated together to be about 50 odd crores, and that's the capital that's come into our company. The capital came in primarily at the, at the, at the parent because uh, as an SPI, they cannot invest into an unlisted sub, which okay. is the case with DGK, mm -hmm. and therefore had to be rooted into the parent. Mm -hmm. uh, the objective is therefore to partner with uh, Amazon to be to be able to build a business which uh, meets with the customer experience requirements of Amazon customers. So that's the summary of the transaction. Okay, uh, sir, uh, tell us more about this uh, mobile, uh, you know, repair and support uh, entity. You said that you will, uh, you know, wanted to scale it up from 250 uh, points to almost 450, 400 stores. Uh, so, uh, will the 50 crore capital be uh, good enough for uh, this particular expansion? or moving ahead also, uh, you know, both the partners, Quest and uh, Amazon are committed uh, for this subsidiaries uh, expansion and, uh, you know, penetration moving ahead, especially uh, to do with uh, the mobile purchase online? So based on the discussions we've had and the plans made so far, this, this, cap this amount of capital is sufficient to meet with the growth uh, requirements of the company. Uh, uh, if we need capital in the future, we'll address that issue at a later point of time. But as of now, this is uh, the number that we need. Okay. And sir, uh, you know, as you mentioned, uh, since uh, you know, Amazon was not allowed to directly invest uh, into your analysis subsidiary, uh, is uh, the partnership of Amazon limited uh, to this uh, you know, mobile entity? Or uh, together with Quest, there are other opportunities also uh, that you would like to explore uh, in the future or in the near term? So we, we work across Amazon in uh, other service areas and lines too, okay. but this investment and uh, this partnership is, is restricted to DigiCare as of now. Okay. Uh, and uh, sir, as far as uh, your uh, you know, uh, core business is concerned, uh, recently there were a lot of investor concerns regard regarding receivables. Uh, uh, you know, was there any concern flagged off by Amazon uh, in between the transaction? Uh, of course, uh, you know, it's uh, reflective of the fact that the transaction happened at a substantial premium. Uh, but uh, do you think uh, you know, uh, all of these uh, concerns and uh, uh, you know, the kind of investment that you've got uh, from Amazon uh, reiterates the fact that you are confident of a business prospect both at Digi, uh, uh, you know, Care as well as at uh, you know, the parent level, uh, which is Quest moving ahead? Uh, sure. So if you look at the parent itself, uh, we did about 465 crores of EBITDA last year. Mm. On an average, we've been growing, if you look at historical data, we've been growing by about 40 odd percent year on year. Uh, even if you don't take that number, if you take a much lesser number, we expect uh, to grow significantly from the 465 crores of EBITDA. Our cash conversion rates in the last two years have changed. 
Um, we were initially at about 30% and now it's gone to about 43% last year. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last quarter of uh, the financial year, we closed in excess of 50%. So if you take a 50% cash conversion to a rebuilder, we will generate significant amount of cash in the company. Our debt levels have come down by 200 crores. So our financial parameters are indicating otherwise. And we think that uh, we have enough liquidity to support our growth. Uh, none of this came into our discussions because essentially uh, this quantum of money that's coming in is a very small percentage of the revenues of the company. Okay. We are sufficiently financed hmm. and uh, you know we don't have any balance sheet concerns at this point. Our concern, if any, uh, is at a project implementation that we're doing for the Smart City project in Ahmedabad, hmm. uh, where we have uh, SPV that's implementing the project, hmm. the 200 or 200 crore project, a little more than 200 crores. Mm. In the SPV, we have a JV partner. The JV partner's parent has gone bankrupt, which is no relation to us. Okay. Uh, and uh, bankruptcy proceedings will proceed against him in as per the process, as per the process of law, uh, unrelated to to Quest or uh, the JV the JV company that we run. So we may have delays related to collection, which is. Uh, usually seen in infrastructure projects in India and, and such government projects, but uh, we don't see collection risk. Uh, at any point of time, if there is any risk at all, we will of course inform uh, and make disclosures sufficiently to that extent.